Hello everybody! Today I want to share some exciting news. We've got an update to our Zapier integration and you can now do a ton more with it. Zapier is kind of like if this then that. You can connect different apps together like you can log a new central call to your repair shopper account or you can create Office 365 contacts from repair shopper customers. That sort of thing. There's there's over a thousand apps that you can use to make some automations happen. We just added find ticket and update ticket. So these are brand new and what these enable is you can have different tools like a shipping tool or different you know CRMs or forms or Slack or whatever update existing tickets. And um, I'm going to do a quick example to show this. So I've got a ticket here. Open this in a new tab. And this ticket has an IMEI on it. I'm going to copy this IMEI. So hypothetically, you could be in like ShipStation or something. I'm going to just do it in a Google Docs spreadsheet. Um, so I'm going to set up a zap that's like if a Google Docs spreadsheet um, has a updated row, then we're going to do a find ticket. So we'll use the second step will be repair shopper find ticket and it's going to do a query with one of the cells from the spreadsheet and then it's going to take the resulting data of that and it's going to do an update ticket and the ticket update is going to pass in the ticket number and it's going to change the ticket status to another cell in the spreadsheet so I've got like two cells in the spreadsheet I, I just call them IMEI and status so what we want to do here is put in that IMEI and put a status of in progress and then we'll see this ticket update I think this particular zap as they call them only runs every few minutes um, but we can go to our dashboard and force it to run if it hasn't still new run there it goes updated in progress so anything that the search will pull up a ticket by can go here um, we could probably even put like this person's name here I'll put Skyla what's another status we want to switch to Um, waiting for parts. And I run that thing again. Waiting for parts. So, anything that Zapier can hook up, you can make do this. So, um, let's just browse, explore apps. There's really a ton here. Facebook, Twitter, Google. There's really a ton here. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to show another example here of using Trello and I'm going to go through the setup with you. So, um, from Trello, I've got a board set up, demo, I put a couple fake tasks on it. One of the tasks, I put a ticket number. I put ticket number 7299 on it. And I'm going to drag this ticket along here and have it update the ticket status in Repair Shopper. To make it a little more realistic, I could put the customer's name Skyla in here. Okay, so we've got like a customer name and we want to do a search. So I'm going to make a zap. I'm going to find Trello. Um, I tried to card update it a second ago, but you have to connect the zap to one specific card. I think we want new activity on my account. Any activity. Card changed. Um, demo. Any list, any card. Let's just try this. Fetch and continue. 
and then this is going to be a repair shop or search find ticket Accounts. The query is going to be Trello card name Skyla. Yes. Test successful. There's our custom fields. There's the IMEI. So we know this is the right ticket. Okay, so we found the ticket. Now we need to update the ticket. You can also have this use a different repair shopper account. So you can have like a zap take data from one repair shopper account and put it in another. So much power here. Okay, um, so our find ticket is going to have a ticket number somewhere. I think it's usually toward the bottom for some reason. Ticket number. Ticket status is going to be. Let's have it be the column. Oh, but I want to do like a transform on that, don't I? I can rename these. Ticket status is going to be data list name list after name. I think before name and after name are the are part of that event that says it was this name and it changed to this name. So I'm going to use this data list after name. That's what that is. So that's a small change to the Trello. Send test. Let's just turn it on. RS Trello to RS demo. Okay, see it on your dashboard. Where is it? <clears throat> okay. Run. I might need to move some stuff around. It's probably going to update this ticket to resolved. I actually don't want it, but let's see, dashboard. Trello, let's move that thing to in progress and run and see if that updates. There we go, in progress. Okay. And then we resolve it. And again, these will run every couple minutes, but I'm just going to do manual runs for the sake of our video here. Okay, it resolved it. Our trail integration works. There's another example of stuff you can do with Zapier. Have fun.